Hello and welcome to Secure Your Spring based application tutorial. This is section 4 and we are talking about the advanced security here. In this section we are going to take a look at the security filter chain. What are the core security filters? How would you configure the method security? And how can you leverage the localization in Spring security? Now in this first video we would be talking about the security filter chain. So what is a delegating filter proxy? What is a filter chain proxy? And what is a filter ordering. Now what if I say the spring security infrastructure is based on the sublet filters. Now what are the sublet filters? Sublet filters are the implementation of Java X sublet filter interface which you create and uh, register into the web XML. And once you write those filters into the web XML, your sublet container will read that and will create a filter for you. Now what is a servlet container? Servlet container is a part of your web server. So we are talking about Apache Tomcat, then Apache is a web server and the Tomcat is a container, servlet container. So what is a servlet container? The servlet container is responsible for managing the life cycles of servlets. Okay. Now servlet container is creating the filters for you. Now what are those servlet filters? Servlet filters you can utilize for the uh, authentication, login, logout, those kind of things. And Spring Security also works on those servlet filters. So let's see how it works. So once a request comes in, let's say the web server would be Wildfly or Apache Tomcat. Servlet container will read the request and if you have created the servlet filters, the implementation of Java X sublet filter in the web XML sublet container will create those filters for you. But you are using Spring, right? So Spring uses the power of dependency injection and it creates a bean. So why would you want to go with the sublet containers created filters? Instead, why don't you create the filters in your application which resides in the application context and you have the uh, control over it, right? So that's where your delegating filter proxy comes in. Delegating filter proxy is also the implementation of Java X servlet filter interface provided by Spring Framework. So this delegating filter proxy is kind of a bridge between your servlet container and your application context filter. And delegating filter proxy is provided by the Spring Security itself. Now if you register this delegating filter proxy in WebXML, the servlet container will create the filter for you. Now you will use this delegating filter proxy and this will delegate to your spring based filters what resides in the application context now how does it delegates to the spring based application uh, filters by filter chain proxy now that's another thing which is called filter chain proxy now if you are creating the delegating filter proxy and you are registering it into the web xml and you are creating filters for you like logout filter, authentication filter like username, password authentication filters. So either you will go and create an entry of delegating filter proxy, delegating filter proxy which would be delegating to each filters. So you would have lots of entry of delegating filter proxy. So rather doing that Spring security provides you the filter chain proxy. So delegating filter proxy will delegate it to the filter chain proxy. And filter chain proxy will take care of all the filters that you are creating in your application context. How Spring creates it for you? And we are using the Java config. So how would we able to configure delegating filter proxy? Because we are not using web XML. So that's the beauty of Java config. You don't have to create the web XML. So you don't have to register the delegating filter proxy by yourself. So let's see how it's done. So let's go to the security config into the config folder. In the security config, we had the configuration, configure global HTTP security and everything. That's where uh, we saw that we can create the logout, form handling, exception handling and everything. And this is security config is read by security web app initializer. So this does nothing, it just extends the abstract security web application initializer. By just extending it, the Spring security filter chain is getting created for you. So that means delegating filter proxy is also created and the, the filter chain proxy is also created. Now let's see 
let's go to this class and see the default filter name is spring security filter chip right and let's see the call hierarchy for it So over here, it's creating insert spring security filter chain and it's creating an object of delegating filter proxy. The name of the object is spring security filter chain So You won't be creating the delegating filter proxy by itself and you don't need to if you are creating a custom uh, spring security filter chain, you cannot override this into Java config else it will throw an exception that there are already a bean exist with spring security filter chain because that's what been created by spring security by itself right and in this it's setting the context and everything now what if you want to create the custom security filter chain because the delegating filter proxy and the spring security filter chain is already created for you by the java config now what if you want to create a filter chain and the Important thing is the ordering of filter. So the most specific filter should come at first and the more general will come at the later end, right? So just like the exception works in Java, right? Now, how would you create your own filter chain? So what we are going to do is we are going to override the method before spring security filter chain given by abstract security web application initializer so if you want to create your own filter chain and you want to register it before the uh, default spring security filter chain you will override before spring security filter chain and if you want to uh, register it after the spring security filter chain you will override after spring security filter chain method and inside this i'm calling the method which is also given by abstract security web application initializer this is insert filters so if you want to insert it and there is also a method called append filter if you want to append the filters right in here we are before the default spring security filter chain we are creating a filter chain for us so the sublet context it needs to be passed and the second thing is the custom spring security filter chain that we are creating so let's say let's check this class how we are doing it so this is a class where we are creating our own custom spring security filter chain and in this this basically extending filter chain proxy right because delegating filter pro uh, delegating filter proxy needs to delegate to filter chain proxy right now uh, in the constructor it is calling the superclass constructor and in the <coughs> filter chain methods filter chains we need to create the security filter chain list and we need to give the filters that we want to add into this filter chain so for now i'm just creating the logout filter just to show how it works so in this spring uh, security filter chain i'm just creating a logout filter object custom logout filter and in this logout filter we are passing the custom logout success handler and the security context logout handler just the last one that is being added by default security context logout handler which clears the security context for you now we already saw custom logout success handler this is logging the remote address browser info at the time of logging out in this custom in this logout filter we are setting the filter process url custom logout this is mandatory this is very important to see because the logout filter if you check this class the filter process url is default to slash logout so if you are creating the custom logout page for you just like the custom logout you would have to set it explicitly now in this filter chain that you created security filter chain we are going to use the list add method and we are going to create the default security filter chain and the request matcher where you want to apply this filter chain so on which request on which url you want to apply this and what is the filter so here the logout filter that we want to apply over it you can have multiple because this is a list so you can have multiple entries over here and this we are returning the filter chain okay so we are returning the list of security filter chain using the filter chains method 
Now let's go back to in this insert filters method. This register the sublet context and the filters that you pass, and it will be registered to the application context. Now let's run this application. I have already executed it, so it's already started. Let's log in. Before that, we need to go to security config and need to remove the configuration of HTTP logout, which we did in the configure part, right? Otherwise, it will override it and it will do the implementation of custom logging out, which we don't want because we have already created the filter chain for us. Now, let's try to log in and let's see if the browser and user info is logging in uh, is logged into the console logs once we log out let's see we logged out and let's see the console logs here we go so we have remote address remote host and browser info so what happened we haven't used the custom logout configuration in the configure http security method we have already disabled it like this so what changed we created a security filter chain so as soon as the custom logout url is triggered a security filter chain which we created triggered and it did its work right we won't be using the security filter chain to create us and register a single filter for us if you want to register a single filter we will see in the next video how do we do that but if you want to create several filter chain you know several filters into one filter chain then you need to create your custom security filter chain now let's go back to the powerpoint now let's see the filter ordering how spring security manages filter and how filter what is the filter ordering of spring security so the first one is channel processing filter so the first filter that execute executes in spring security is channel processing filter because it needs to check what protocol that you are using is it http or https the second is security context persistent filter which will set up and manage the security context the next one is concurrent session filter it will manage the concurrent sessions the ongoing requests and then authentication processing mechanism just like username password authentication filter cis authentication if you are single sign on basic authentication filter those things and then you have security now there are few filters that if you are using the custom things then you are utilizing those otherwise it will it won't be used just like the jas api integration filter remember me authentication filter if you are using the remember me authentication then it will check if the cookie is already there it will log in through the cookie otherwise you would have to use create a session for you anonymous authentication filter it will check if the incoming request doesn't have any authenticated object is it the anonymous authentication right exception translation filter if there any exception occurs in the processing of filter chain in the processing of the request the filter security interceptor it will intercept all the requests coming into your web application 